Yes, thank you, Avery. I'm actually live at Wayndale Elementary, the school that went on lockdown shortly after the incident occurred. And needless to say, the people I spoke with today are still shaken up over this tragedy. These include community members that worked at local businesses where she would frequent that have just crossed paths with this woman over the years in this small, tight-knit community. At the McDonald's across the street, I spoke to employees who knew her as a smiling regular at their restaurant. Crew member Mariana Nino says she was at school today when she heard about her death from a friend who works at that grocery store. She was one of our regulars and she was super sweet, always in the drive through complimenting and she would always uh, volunteer to do surveys for us so we could get some extra money on our check. And she was just a really nice person. Nino says she typically would do mobile orders around dinner time and would show up wearing her blue Kroger apron. Now, I also spoke with a customer at that McDonald's who, were, who were, was just shocked to know that someone would have an altercation with this woman because she was just so sweet. But coming up at first at 10, we're going to have more community reaction on this tragedy. Until then, live at Wayndale Elementary, I'm Troyce Grant, Fox 55 News.